All right, welcome back to the shop. This is Zach over at NV Woodworks. Uh, today I'm gonna do some uh, wood stabilizing. Basically what that means is you're gonna put it in a vacuum tube, suck all the air out of the air pockets within the structure of the wood, and then you're gonna replace it with a, a resin liquid which you then bake and cure, and it's basically kind of resin impregnated. Uh, what this does is it allows the wood to, I don't think you can get rid of completely the uh, moisture content changes, but it definitely will not absorb and move, you know, for the wood, wood movement nearly as much. Uh, it, it puts it down to a pretty much a minimum. So uh, I do this for a couple different things. When I cast uh, sagebrush or any kind of other, wood material with uh, a, a, a resin, you know, a, acrylic basically, um, I stabilize the wood beforehand. Um, for the bangles, you know, we're doing the bangle, uh, bangle bowl contest right now. Um, I got a couple blanks that I want to stabilize and get ready so that I can uh, mount them onto a metal backer and not worry about it expanding and blowing up. So I'm just going to take you through the steps, uh, show you what you need. Uh, to do this stuff, uh, if you ever want to get into it, it's not that hard. It's a little bit. There's a little bit of money involved. You got to get some equipment, but um, it's pretty cool. It allows you to do whatever you want and not have to rely on buying stabilized wood blanks from other people. First step, uh, kind of want to cover some of the things that you need to use for st uh, stabilizing. Now, I, first thing you need is a vacuum chamber. I bought this from uh, Turntex, uh, Turntex.com. Curtis over there. Um, he makes these. It's basically just a PVC pipe um, that he's glued, you know, the bottom on. You got a sealed top, and then you just suck the air out. Now, to suck the air out, you need a vacuum pump. There's other ways you can do this with uh, compressed air using, uh, oh, I forget the method, what it's called. But there's different ways to do this, but uh, the vacuum pump is, I, I had one, so um, that was easy for me. Um, you need the stabilizing resin. Now, I, again, I buy cactus juice. This is what I buy for. Uh, I buy it from uh, Curtis over at Turntex. Uh, there's a couple different suppliers. I think Stickfast is making one now. So you can get different stuff, uh, and they all kind of work differently. But I'll, I'm using the cactus juice, and I've gotten pretty good results. Uh, definitely use gloves when you're working with this stuff. It's I don't know what's in it, but I don't think it's very good to get it on your skin. You'll need wood blanks, whatever you want to uh, stabilize. Uh, and then a couple other things. Once you're done with the vacuum chamber, you need to bake or heat cure the resin inside. So you're going to need some aluminum foil and you're going to need some sort of a oven to bake it in or you know heat it up in. Um, I have one of those little, I call it a tasty bake oven. It, it's, you know, 20 bucks at, at Lowe's or wherever I bought it. Uh, the only issue with that is the temperature fluctuates a lot so uh, I don't know it, the oven issue is kind of tough if, if you can get a good one that's better 